Hello and welcome to another standard video here in the brand new Duskmore meta game. One question on your mind might be, is this a Leyline of Resonance red deck gonna be the real deal or is it just a meme? Since the red black aggro decks were already one of the most popular decks in the best of one meta game and now we get to play with a Leyline of Resonance as well. This enchantment starts onto the battlefield if it's in your opening hand and then now whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only a single creature you control, copy that spell and you can choose new targets for the copy. So this is incredibly powerful when combined with pump spells, and Duskmore introduces another 1-mana pump spell, giving a creature 3 extra power until end of turn, and when it dies this turn we also get to manifest a dread, so make a 2-2 that can also be turned into a creature if we find one in the top 2 cards. So a very powerful combination, which now sets up more turn 2 kills in standard than ever before. All you need is a ley line in your opening hand, put it on the battlefield, of course the more ley lines we have the better, but one can suffice and then play either Hardfire Hero or Cacophony Scamp, then turn to attack with them, cast Turn Inside Out, which gets copied by a ley line, so we now get to give 6 extra power, hit the opponent for 7 with a Scamp, or 8 with Hardfire Hero, since we also got to trigger Valiant, and then a second main phase, sacrifice our creature to the Burn Together Adventure from Cellsword, dealing another 7 or 8 damage, and then we also get to trigger the Hardfire Hero or Scamp's ability, where they get to deal damage equal to their power to any target, so that adds up to well over over 20 damage to win the game, plus we also get to manifest a dread a bunch of turn inside out. So that's one way to get there. You could also get there with Scamp and then two pump spells, because if Scamp hits the opponent we can just sacrifice it and then deal damage equal to its power. So now turn inside out plus another pump spell could get there too. So there's a lot of different permutations that can now set up a turn to kill, all thanks to a ley line of resonance. And then the rest of the deck still has some very powerful creatures, Monastery Swiss Spear, we've got the Slick Shot Show Off, which can also increase its power if we cast an instant or sorcery, and then the challenger, another creature with haste and prowess, and there's plenty of ways to enable Valiant in this deck to potentially find additional cards, and then we've got powerful pump spells like Monstrous Rage. Now this does get a little bit more exciting if we have more than one creature in play to target, since we can only have one monster roll token on each creature, so the more creatures the more monster roll tokens we get to keep in play. Then there's Might of the Meek, which can also maybe increase power if we control a mouse. We've got the uh, Heartfire Hero and two copies of Challenger, but it also still draws a card. So if we can target one of our creatures with a Leyline in play, this can turn into one mana, draw two cards, which isn't too bad. And then Felonious Rage, another way to give our creatures haste to maybe set up a kill out of nowhere. And similar to the Manifested Dread, can also leave behind a 2-2 Detective token. So it's also a way to maybe fight removal spells. And then a Dreadmoss Ire can also maybe catch the opponent off guard if they maybe waited for you to attack. Then now you can pump up the creature's toughness by 2, which they may not be expecting. So that can also maybe save your creature from a burn spell. And maybe even take out an opposing artifact as well if you get to connect. And Trample never hurts. And then a Mana Base, just 18 lands. Lands, the curve is incredibly low. Sometimes you do get into grindy games where you might want to hard cast a ley line, but then you'll draw the lands naturally. And then a few black sources in case we want to cast the creature half of Cell Sword. Not really all that necessary, so if you're playing on a budget, you can easily do without, but uh, occasionally it can come in handy. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play. This hand is uh, not ideal. Missing an actual creature we want to start pumping up. Let's take a mulligan. Alright, this one is a one-lander, but it does have potential, assuming Hardfire Hero survives. And then the second Monstrous Rage might be a little redundant. At least with Might of the Meek we get a redraw to maybe find a second land. Alright, in this case, against the Red-White... Still tempted to Might of the Meek to hit my land drop. Perfect. And then now... I think we should Monstrous Rage as well. Could do it in the opponent's turn to gain two extra points of toughness to maybe beat a Lightning Helix. That's a reason to wait here. Alright, perfect. We do miss out on the extra 2 power, but that doesn't matter too much. And then now, if we attack with a turn inside out and use Cell Sword, we just win. Hit you for 8, sacrifice, and that's another 16. 
plus we also would get to manifest dread so yeah if we didn't play around lightning helix this game might have looked a little different although we did end up top decking another hardfire hero on to the next one okay we're on the draw no creature means easy mulligan and this time we have a few too many creatures you could say only one land on the draw hopefully we'll find a second land and uh, yeah, hopefully the pump spells will follow. We have lots of two drops, so I think one of them has to go. Probably make it the challenger. Slickshot can help play around removal by just plotting it. Alright, mountain's good. Now I'm in favor of Swiss Spear. Hardfire Hero is the type of creature we actually want to survive to combine with Cell Sword. So if we're going to bait out a removal spell early, I would rather have them take out the Swiss Spear. Our opponent now keeps up two mana. So we can go ahead and attack. And plot a slick shot. So it does not seem like they had a removal available, but they could still have a counter spell. Keeping up three mana again. Alright, so we're just going to make the same play as last turn, except we can also add a Hardfire Hero to the board. And then I guess we'll cast that one first. In case I have one of those conditional counter spells. Plot Slick Shot. And now for opponent DOS, tap out to cast a board wipe. We'll have double Slick Shot as a follow-up. Hopefully we can pick up another pump spell here so we can set up the kill with Cell Sword. Our opponent did indeed have a 3 mana counter spell. And now we can start chipping in for 2 each turn. Right, opponent's got to Cornucopia which does allow them to still keep up interaction potentially. So that's kind of the nightmare scenario where our opponent can pull ahead while still keeping up mana. So that's gonna eventually lead us to an awkward spot where we have to go for it and if our opponent has the instant speed removal we get punished. I don't think I want to go for it now though. So let's attack. Did not seem like our opponent necessarily had instant speed removal here. So Next turn I might have to go for it. But I'm still hoping to pick up one more pump spell. Of course would have had a lot more pressure had we cast the Monstrous Rage a while ago. Bonus got Roxanne, gaining two life. Probably taking out the Heartfire Hero if I were them. Although we could save it with a Monstrous Rage. I think we let it go and then bump up the slick shots and fling them for the win, hopefully. Alright, Felonious Rage might do it. So we want to pump up the same slick shot as much as possible. I guess we can attack now. Monstrous Rage, and then Cell Sword. So, plenty of damage to spare. And there we have it, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got a fine hand, still no ley line, but uh, one drops with rage. So in this case, definitely wait on Hardfire Heroes since we can give it haste with the rage. Run on blue white with an otter, so more of an aggressive deck. Okay, so we'll have a good attack. And then next turn we can already threaten a ton of damage with another pump spell on Hardfire Hero and Cell Sword. 
So we'll see if they have removal. If they do, then the game gets a bit more interesting. Combat research, we don't mind. They could still have the one mana instant here. Unwanted remake. So that's now the concern. So let's go ahead and attack. And yeah, judging from the instant's passive priority, I don't think they have it. Although they might have an Elspeth Smite instead here, since they did slightly pause when we started attacking. So now if I go for Rage, we get punished. The opponent needs to be worried about Monstrous Rage. So they also can't really make the first move. So they let damage happen. So now if I were to Felonious Rage, I go up to 5 power and then fling a stun damage. So I'm pretty sure they had an Elspeth Smite in hands. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to matter. That's 10 more damage. And there we have it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we finally have a Leyline of Resonance in our opener. Not going to be a turn 2 kill, since we're lacking the 1 mana creature. But still got to keep here. And then Slickshot we can plot if we're worried about removal. And then we've got a few pump spells to go with it. Monstrous Rage does get a lot better if we have a different creature. And, uh, well, our first game with Leyline, our opponent has one as well. And they might be threatening the turn 2 kill, as they do actually have a turn 1 scamp. So, this is not looking good. Yeah, I think I still have to plot Slickshot here. Casting it means risking the scamp just taking it out next turn. So, plot Slickshot. Hope we don't die on turn 2. Opponent doesn't get there with Monstrous Rage plus Cell Sword, but yeah, if they have turn inside out and Cell Sword, that's lethal. So, do they have it? Nope, just another pump spell. Although, this is still lethal since they can just sack Scamp itself. 11 plus 11 is still 22. So I guess that's one kill you have with Scamp that you don't have with Hardfire Hero, is just two pump spells with a Leyline in play. But yeah, that's uh, a turn to kill. Sadly, we weren't the ones to have it this time. But our opponent sure did. And they even get to make four tokens, so as if this weren't enough. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a great hand. Ley line. And we have hard fire plus turn inside out. So we're just a cell sword away from a potential turn two kill. Opponent does have the turn one swamp. So maybe we start with Scamp or Swiss Spear. I think Hardfire here is going to be a little bit better with Turn Inside Out to target it. Maybe it is just Swiss Spear and then turn two I can play two creatures without haste. Alright, that worked. So we're not going for a potential turn two kill now. Opponent's got to bat to probably take away our pump spell. So currently the ley line wouldn't be doing much. But then I'll likely deploy Hardfire plus Scamp. And then any additional pump spell we draw is going to be quite devastating. Scamp sacrificing itself to finish off the Deep Cavern Bat also gets our pump spell back. So our opponent may as well attack, and we did draw the turn inside out. So yeah, this is going to be pretty brutal. May as well attack all out. Opponent's gonna take it. So, definitely target the hero. And then we can target Scamp. Scamp will sacrifice itself. And we can just finish off the Preacher if we'd like. Proliferate the plus one counter, because why not? Or we could take out the bats to get another turn inside out. I think taking out Preacher is fine. So our opponent doesn't get any life linkers. And we also get an additional 2-2 here, so our opponent's also just kind of losing on the board. 
Opponent does have the shield roots. That's acceptable. Could turn this into a Swiss spear. Although without any ways to trigger prowess, we're probably better off with a 2-2. Two -two. And then Cell Sword is looking good here. So if I attack all out, what happens? Opponent could block Hardfire Hero and then still take six. And then Cell Swords would be a little bit short of lethal. So instead, because yeah, Cell Sword does not get copied by the Ley Line, because it has more than one target. So instead we can set up slick shots to maybe go for it next turn. If I sell sword, I guess take out the deep cavern bat with let's say our 2-2. We get to turn inside out back and then attack. Yeah, I guess that does it. So chuck this at the bat. Attack. And then no matter how they block, they're gonna die here. Alright. Just pump the Hardfire Hero twice. And that'll do it. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a double Leyline opener. Well, things are about to be nice and fair, as their opponents got to one Leyline. So I guess they can still threaten a turn 2 kill here, as they do have turn 1 Hardfire Hero. Oh, I gotta play creature to block. I guess we'll make it Scamp. And then next turn I could go Swiss Spear, Might of the Meek to draw and get some damage in. Scamp would be the better one to keep to eventually set up lethal. Yeah, it's kind of a tricky spot. I think I play the Scamp now. There's a small chance we can take out Hardfire Hero if they cannot increase toughness more than once. But yeah, this is where I'm forced to block because there are so many combinations that threaten lethal otherwise. Dreadmaw's Iron is a good one. Since that tramples. We're not dead to a Cell Sword at least. That would only be 12 damage. But we're also nowhere close to threatening lethal ourselves. And our opponent's got a scamp as well. Well, we found our own Cell Sword. So I think best I can do is play Swiss Spear, pass with Might of the Meek available. And then probably still die somehow. I think I'll block the scamp. Opponent's got their own Might of the Meek. And do I respond? I guess we can let them resolve the Ley Line and draw. They're gonna pump the Heart Fire. And they do control a mouse, so that's quite good as well. Anything else? And they've got a Dreadmoss Ire times two with a ley line. So yeah, that's a disaster. At least we're once again not dead here. But it's making it really difficult to pull ahead as we draw a third ley line and a slick shot. And our opponent's definitely close to lethal. As they can sack scam for another six damage. This is still only their turn 3, by the way. And a lot has happened. We drew another Slick Shot. So I have to stay back to block. If they have any other way of giving Trample, we're in trouble. There's also a world where I just cast a Cell Sword as a blocker. But I think my best hope is still play Slick Shots, maybe Chump. Draw fourth lands, and then do we get there with Slick Shots? Monstrous Rage would get essentially three copies, although of course we only get one roll token. So it's still only plus, let's see here, uh, seven. Slick Shots makes it ten, so I guess that would be lethal with a Cell Sword if we draw the untapped land. So there's still hope if we just go Slick Shots, play defense. So I gotta try it.
Just need them not to have a way to give trample. Cell sword would kill us. And a might of the meek that does give trample, sadly. Alright, GG's. So even if I were to monstrous rage here defensively, it's nowhere near enough. So yeah, double ley line loses to single ley line, but our opponent was on the play. Which makes a pretty big difference in this matchup. But yeah, this mono red ley line deck is technically still undefeated in today's video. We just were on the receiving end a few times. Alright. Opponent's got a lot of damage to spare. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got Leyline and the Pump Spells. Problem is, no creature. On the draw, I'm willing to give this a shot, actually. We can also cycle Might of the Meek on an opposing creature to draw a card. So we have two or three draw steps before we absolutely need a creature. And then if we do, we can immediately give it haste. And then our mana is good. Red, black, what looks like mid-range is not ideal. Found a Heartfire Hero. I can still play it. If they remove it, we can Felonious Rage to get some detectives in return. So it's not that bad. Unless they find a way to exile it, I guess. Opponent passes with mana up. Can't really afford to do anything. Land is good. So now we want to attack first. That way Dreadmoss Ire is maybe a way to beat a um, Torch the Tower, which would otherwise exile the Heartfire Hero. Alright, so now I think it's fine to use one Dreadmoss Ire, and then if our opponent were to Torch the Tower response, I can still Ire again. And then if they also have a Cutdown, we can Might of the Meek or Felonious Rage. So we have a few options. But Ire is the most conditional card here. And it's just a bitter triumph. Discarding Chandra. So now Felonious Rage wouldn't be a bad idea. Since we get those detectives in return. And then we can also Might of the Meek to draw maybe. So the concern now if I Felonious Rage is that they also have a Torch the Tower to Exile Heartfire here in response. And then I would be forced to increase its toughness with either another Ire or Monstrous Rage. Although I guess Monstrous Rage also wouldn't work since we already triggered Valiant. So Ire would be the only play to save the Heartfire hero. I think I still gotta try this. Alright, that works. So do I want to do anything else? Might of the Meek to draw is probably acceptable. Did not seem like they had anything else left. Found a Swiss Spear, that's good. So we deal 7 on the way out. And get 2 detectives. So if they have a board wipe, we can still follow up with a hasty Swiss Spear. Opponent did have the Brotherhood's End. And Challenger, not a bad draw either. So 2 hasty creatures. And with a Monstrous Rage. And our opponent scoops it up. All right, I'll take it. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a great hand. A ley line in our opener. Plenty of one drops and a turn inside out. So we're very close to a turn two kill. And I think Scam gives us the best chance at a turn two kill because any other pump spell, assuming no blocker, would get there. Opponents on turn one mountain with their own scamp. And another turn inside out. Well, we technically have the kill if our opponent doesn't block, but I don't see why they wouldn't block. So with that said, maybe we go Swiss Spear attack and then turn inside out. If I just double turn inside out, we also get four manifests, two twos. So that would be very strong as well. Uh, so can't really go wrong here either way. Yeah, I guess the risk is our opponents taking it if we play Swiss Spear, but then I can still sack Scamp to take out their Scamp, so there's no risk of the opponent comboing off. 
So I think overall, Swiss spear and then turn inside out is reasonable. They're gonna block this camp. Still happy to pump it to get the manifest. And then I can also target the Swiss spear. Although I guess, yeah, just pumping this camp makes more sense since it's gonna die and I can deal damage on the way out. So we'll still get to manifests as well. And yeah, our opponent already scoops it up. We would have three creatures to the opponent zero. Still have a turn inside out left in hand. And then next turn we might have the kill. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Totally fine hands, although can't help but feel a little sad that we don't have a ley line. But uh, yeah, still gotta keep. Opponent has the turn on hardfire hero. But they're also missing the ley line, so we're not under any pressure to chum block the heart fire right away. So in that case, maybe go for scamp, so we don't have to worry about summoning sickness. And next turn, Swiss spear plus monster's rage looks good. Opponent also playing with rock face village, so possible they have some removal like shock and lightning strike, and that are more the traditional red deck as opposed to the version with ley line, as our opponent passes with one mana up. So that does point in that direction. So yeah, if I were to attack here and our opponent blocks, forcing me to make the first move with Monstrous Rage and then responds with Shock, I would be pretty sad. So is there any attack I can still make here? If I attack with just Swiss Spear, they put a Swiss Spear in front, so then it doesn't really accomplish much. If I attack with Scamp, they also block with Swiss Spear. I can either try and trade or Monster's Rage, but then they shock and we're sad. So I think I just have to pass and keep up Might of the Meek, as well as Monster's Rage for the extra toughness. Could see them try and shock this camp end of turn. They're just gonna untap. Alright, they're playing green as well. Village could also target Hardfire Hero, just to enable Valiant. Opponent's got another one. So it's a bit of a waiting game. Challenger the draw, so that gives us a mouse for Might of the Meek. Yeah, I guess some fine playing Challenger and once again passing with Monstrous Rage available, since nothing else has changed. Could consider attacking with Challenger, because now if they block with Swiss Spear they don't have the upper hand, so they're the ones that have to make the first move. So maybe an attack with Challenger is not so bad. Yeah, opponent's gonna might of the make their Heartfire hero. So I guess now they can block with Swiss Spear and force me to make the first move. And we still suspect them to have a shock in hand as well. So yeah, I guess this wasn't ideal. Still got a Monstrous Rage, I think. They get to shock, we still have a Monstrous Rage left. Or I can just cycle a might of the meek, but then they get to deny the card draw. Right, there's a shock as we suspected. So opponent got a better exchange there. Now for mana, they could hard cast a ley line if they have it, but they're looking at the rock face village on Hardfire Hero. Make it a 3 3, a 4 3, and attack. No blocks. Alright, let's get in there. Opponent's got once again Might of the Meek. Pretty good here. Free Prowess Enabler and Valiant Enabler. But now we can beat a shock on Swiss Spear pretty easily just by triggering Prowess. Alright, so opponent's lining up some blocks. So if I were to try and Felonious Rage the Scamp and they have another way to grow Swiss Spear, that may not work out great. Step one might be Monstrous Rage on Swiss Spear. That seemed to resolve pretty swiftly. Yeah, maybe Felonious Rage on Scamp is still fine. You can always deal the damage when Scamp dies to another creature. 
So yeah, that works. And now all of a sudden we can take out all of the opponent's creatures. So we've got the upper hand. Questing Druid goes digging, does find a couple of challengers. They can play one of them. And uh, yeah, could start out with Might of the Meek. Although most of the spells I would cast I can still play at instant speed unless it's another haste creature that I might want to play first main phase. Otherwise I think it's reasonable to just attack all out and see how they respond. They may feel like they're too far behind and forced to block the 1-2 Swiss Spear, but nope. So in that case it doesn't matter too much what I target, in case they have another shock I guess 2-3 Swiss Spear makes sense. And a hard fire. So our opponent can still play Questing Druid. Two unknowns in hand. And we are on empty. So it could still go either way. The Carpluzen Forest also costing them some life. As our opponent now plotting a slick shot. And they scoop it up. Maybe they intended to play it instead of plotting it. And that was a misclick. But uh, yeah, I'll take it. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. And no one mana creature, just a challenger. Do have a lot of pump spells, but on the draw this might just be too slow. Plus it's always fun to look for a ley line, which we found, although no creature this time. On the draw I'm willing to risk it, get rid of a land. And again we have Might of the Meek for a redraw, can also target the opponent's creature with it. As we see turn 1 scamp. Well, we could play our own, although it would just die to the opponent's camp. And uh, they don't have ley lines, so it's not like they're threatening lethal on turn 2. So I think the play is just pass. Probably cycle Might of the Meek to draw. And then next turn I can play Scamp. Ideally we find Felonious Rage to give it haste. Opponent's got a challenger. Okay. So take 3. Alright, so we did not get the extra Ley Line copy for Might of the Meek since we didn't target our own creature here. But we did find a Hardfire Hero in the meantime. So that does open up a few more options. Such as Hardfire Hero plus Scamp this turn. And then at most they can take out one with their Scamp. And then next turn we can start unloading. Or I could just play Hardfire Hero with Monstrous Rage to protect it. Or I just wait another turn. So I can play both and Monstrous Rage to pump them both up. But again, our opponent could also grow the Scamp to still take one of them out. So, a tricky spot. I think I just deploy both and then see what happens. If they have a Cell Sword, they could take out both of my creatures pretty easily. So that's one card we don't want to see. It's going to be a Slick Shot, that's fine. And an all-out attack. I'll take it, even though blocking Scamp could technically save me one damage. But if they have a pump spell, that's a lot worse. Bodden does not sack the Scamp. That's brave. So now we should have lethal in a multitude of ways. Start with a Monstrous Rage. Mostly should be pumping the scam since we can sacrifice it for more damage. I guess the correct way to sequence is maybe turn inside out first in case they did have some burn spell left like Torture Tower. That doesn't seem to be the case. And then even though it doesn't seem like they have anything, there's no real reason to cast another pump spell since we can just deal... 15 damage and sank the scam for another 10. And that'll do it. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. We've got a very solid opener with a ley line. And then bonus keeping up one mana. If they have a cutdown, it's a reason not to play Swiss Spear into it. Although we do have Challenger as a follow-up. 
I think it's reasonable to wait. Problem is their opponent playing a deep cavern bat next turn, which would probably take the pump spell, although they could also go for my challenger. So if I go Swiss Spear and they cut down and then play Bat, take Challenger, we don't have any creatures left. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt here. Black-White, no turn to play. So now I don't mind going Swiss Spear. Attack. And that way next turn I can play Challenger and still pump it up maybe. Opponent did have a cut down, plays at end of turn to play around a pump spell. So that's all fine. And another lane, so our draws have not been amazing. Problem is, if I play Challenger now and enable Valiant, I wouldn't be able to play anything else. So maybe it's fine to just pass. Could also cast a creature half of Cell Sword, but that feels underwhelming. So I'll be patient. Our opponent could take out our Black Leaf Cliffs. Still have a Sulphur Springs for black mana, so it's not a huge concern. But no Swamp in this deck, since you need all your lands to produce red mana. So the game goes on. And yeah, once again, tempted to play a tapped Cliffs and pass, since Challenger is likely to just get removed before it does anything. Now at least by building up our mana it's going to be easier to cast a lot of spells in one turn. And maybe set up that combo kill with Cell Sword. Oh no, opponent's got to get lost for Ley Lines, so now things are a lot less exciting. Archangel Elspeth is next. Makes a token, Monstrous Rage to draw. Alright, so we could do some damage now. Play Challenger. Problem is I probably have to go after Elspeth since I'm not gonna have enough to just win the game. So play Challenger, attack Elspeth. I'm gonna play around another cutdown, but that shouldn't be too difficult. And uh, yeah, I could also go exploring here with the map first. Which also triggers Valiant, which found a scamp. And then Swiss Spear on top, lots of creatures. Don't hate the Swiss Spear as a haste creature. So, can attack Elspeth, presumably they block, and then I guess Elspeth's Smite could still punish me. I kind of like the Dreadmoss Ire here to trample over, finish off Elspeth, and then technically I could still Monstrous Rage in the face of uh, Elspeth's Smite. Alright, so that works, and then now we can play Scamp. If they have a Sweeper, I'll still have a Swiss Spear as a follow-up. But yeah, point still at 20. Bezos pretty good too. Making a pair of fish tokens. So this is where we need to set up the lethal fling with Cacophony Scam pretty much. Still probably targeting Challenger with a map token just to trigger Valiant. Finds another Scamp. And a Ley Line. Yeah, don't actually hate keeping that one. Which means I don't necessarily want a Monstrous Rage this turn. We also already enabled Valiant, so play Scamp. I don't know if I even want to play a Swiss Spear, if they have a Sunfall for instance. So we'll pass. Bowen's gonna pass as well. They might have another Get Lost for the Ley Line, which isn't a terrible thing given the Challenger. So try and cast it. Do I feel comfortable enough attacking already? Opponent's got a lot of open mana, even though Challenger technically has an okay attack here. Our opponent would probably just double block. Possible they have another base in hand that they want to play. And I don't really want a Monstrous Rage right now. So I'll be patient. See what our opponent has to offer. They're just going to pass with all their mana. And a Malicious Eclipse would take out the Scamps and make it so they don't deal any damage, but also takes out the fish tokens, so fair is fair. So yeah, glad we didn't commit the Swiss Spear. We get to untap. Opponent does seem to have another instant. Children's Edict gets rid of the challenger now. 
Yeah, so it goes. Their opponent is now tapped out, but we're not going to have enough damage here. But time to deploy some creatures out. One more pump spell might set up a pretty sweet turn here with Heartfire Hero and Sellsword. Starfall Invocation. Well, that's gonna wipe my board once again. I did get to draw a card at least. But I guess there was no window for me to cast Turn Inside Out to get those Manifest Tokens. So now we just need another creature. Could always cast a Cell Sword, I suppose. Although with Turn Inside Out and Monstrous Rage, we can maybe set up a one-hit KO. So it might still be better to wait. Although now our opponent's got a pretty fast clock, especially if they turn on their creature land. But it looks like they have more interaction available. Eternal Wanderer. Yeah, that's a good one. This ends Makes a double striker. This is our window to top deck a haste creature. Slick shots, that's exactly what I had in mind. And uh, let's do some math. So I can Monstrous Rage, which will give a total of 5 extra power, trigger the ability, so that's 7 up to 8, turn inside out up to 10, up to 16, and then, yeah, fling for the win. So should be more than enough. Plus we'll have some leftover manifests as well. So yeah, just had to wait for the right moment to strike. And as soon as our opponent tapped out, it was killing time. So I'm glad we held on to the cell sword. And there we have it. Sweet. And we get to rank up for our efforts as well. So yeah, my fears became reality. A ley line is the real deal, not just a meme card. Besides threatening turn two kills, it's still fine to hard cast in those grindier matchups where the opponent is prepared with a lot of removal. And then as long as you know how to sequence your threats and avoid getting two for ones by instant speed removal, and then maybe wait for the right opportunity to strike, you can set up a kill out of nowhere as we've done several times here. So yeah, this deck is the real deal and it's probably not going anywhere anytime soon, which means we better try and adapt our current decks to try and beat this strategy, which means a lot of instant speed removal, ideally, that doesn't destroy, because otherwise the opponent still gets to make their detectives or manifest dread or deal damage with Cacophony Scamp and Heartfire Hero, so bound spells in blue are pretty good for this. We have lots of removal that exiles. In white, there's Elspeth's Smite at one mana, although that one the opponent can still potentially play around but we also have Torch the Tower, which is a bit more straightforward, and then in black, Anoint with Affliction is probably the best potential answer, since the opponent can pump up their creatures as much as they want to, and then Anoint with Affliction can still get it without any potential repercussions, although it does have the drawback of costing 2 mana, so if the opponent has the turn to kill and you're on the draw, you could still lose with Anoint in hand, so you probably want to mix it up with additional copies of Cutdown, for instance, to try and delay the turn 2 kills. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty wild standard coming up, but as long as you're prepared for this deck, it should still be beatable. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.